inside the Kennedy's Palm Beach Estate, also known as the Winter White House. The Mediterranean Revival style home dates back to 1922 and was bought by JFK's father, Joseph P. Kennedy Sr. in 1933, where it remained in the family until 1995. At the time, he paid $120,000 for the 11-bedroom, 15,000-square-foot estate. It served as a vacation home for the family and they would gather there during the colder months of the year. Now looking at the interiors of the home, this is the family room. In the main house, the family room was the closest room to the beautiful pool, and they made sure to extend the outdoor feeling into the interior, which is reflected in the decor. We see JFK's rocking chair, a low mustard yellow sofa, fishtail and areca palms, as well as a large fitted carpet that went over the wood floors, creating a cozier and more casual environment. This room, just like the others in the home, featured decor that was constantly changing just as the times were. Often celebrating Christmas in Palm Beach, they put their Christmas tree in this room. It was here that they would open presents and converse with family members, celebrating the season and enjoying the lovely weather. Since the Kennedys, the home has gone through several renovations and remodelings, along with getting a change of decorations and decor. In this space, the decor has changed drastically, along with an addition put on to this room. Stepping into the main drawing room, this is the largest entertaining room in the home. Here we can see the original terracotta floors and beautiful wood-beamed ceiling. The beautiful glass doors have a view directly onto the Atlantic Ocean, and we can see how the room looked originally when it was owned by the Kennedy family. The decor was simplified and toned down, but there was ample seating arrangements for the extended family that would come to stay. From the main drawing room, you pass through a hallway and then into the beautiful dining room. Pictured here is the original dining table and chairs that the Kennedy family sat in and used. What is also exceptionally lovely about this room is the amount of light provided by the doors on either side of the room. The kitchen areas were practical and utilitarian as they were mainly used by the staff to prepare meals and cook food. There was an ample amount of light in this space and these pictures display the room having gone through a couple of renovations. 
But here we see Jackie and Ethel with a few of the children in the kitchen as they prepare eggs for Easter. This den was used by JFK, and it was here that he would interview members for his cabinet. So that is why it has been given the title of the cabinet room. As we travel upstairs to the many bedrooms, this is the one that John and Jackie had together while they were married. Complete with Venetian style headboards and pale blue and white accents, there was also a massage table to help with John's back problems. Each bedroom was done in a unique and beautiful style, but seen here are a few of the renovated bedrooms. The exclusive nature of the home allowed for a plethora of vistas and entertaining areas and spaces. Even at the front of the home, there was a dining table where the family might have lunch, dinner, or even breakfast. There was also loggia spaces where there were couches and chairs and wrought iron seating areas. Live plants would surround you in a peaceful and calming manner. It was the perfect space where one could either relax and take it easy, or make plans to do things of the utmost importance. JFK vacationed at this home as a small boy, and until his death, he was able to bring his children here and reflect on the memories he once had while creating new ones with them. Located right on the Atlantic Ocean, beach access was quite easy. Putting your toes in the sand, soaking up the sun, and catching the fresh sea breeze was a daily option, as well as taking the family boat out. We can see John, Jackie, Caroline, and John exiting the home as they are heading to Easter service at church. The home has gone through many renovations, updates, and additions throughout the years. And we can see the difference of how it looked when they originally purchased the home versus how it looks today. Tell me how you liked the home in the comments down below. Thank you so much for watching Cultured Elegance. I'll see you in the next video.